So I forgot that I need to take my video's landscape. So I'm going to quickly do this, even though I've already done my unpacking of the other item I had in the video. We'll see. I'll make a video both ways and see how it works. But um, I'm repairing this this morning, and it's early. I slept in. Just doing a few fun things this Sunday morning. It's probably afternoon already. I did not realize, though, on this frame, like, remember I bought this extra glass at the thrift store. Totally didn't think of this, realize this. Which one was it? This was the corner, this corner. And I should have taken a hint from that, that there would be some frame damage, but I'm gonna have to fix that. This corner and this corner. But I still love this frame, I'm gonna make it work. It's cute. I am trying to remember whether it was dollar store or winners, but I'm going to lean towards dollar store. Anyway, I also, Went to Walmart last night and got this amazing air fryer, which has amazing reviews. I was a little bit thinking, well, there was a lot of clearance, so this wasn't the only one. But I got it for $64.99, and it was regular $129. I don't know if it says that on there somewhere. Yeah. So it would have come out to about $147 Canadian after tax. But it did have damage to the box. Here's that. And there was this like straight stab through hole so I wasn't a hundred percent sure but I was like this is a serious upgrade from the one I just bought Black Friday last year so I did the unboxing of it already so we'll just go through the pieces and show you the perimeter of the air fryer so I'm not sure what all the pieces are yet but here they are laid out it's got one solid tray, two aerated kind of trays. This basket, which I am not sure, I really gotta read the manual. Um, there's another type of tray, and the rotisserie parts, and it is huge in there. I'm excited about this. I wonder if this one's pretty much just a drip tray overall, but can use be used for baking because if that's not a drip tray of sorts, I'm going to have to put some uh, parchment paper under there or something, foil, to catch the, the mess. But yeah, I'm going to open this up and we're going to see what these okay, attachments are. Okay, I think I might be missing a part. The I mean, unless it's the installed piece, but it definitely doesn't come out. It might be just that, I'm not sure, but here it's showing number seven being a splash guard heating element protection grid, but that is none of these pieces. So and I'm pretty sure it's not that one, but maybe it is that one. But that's, that doesn't make sense to me that that. Because really that's not, it's holy, it's not going to hold anything. I don't understand that. But let's see. So, we've got that piece. And then 14 and 13. Uh, two times air racks and crumb oil baking tray. That's these three. That's these three pieces. So I got that figured out. And then let's go to this one, number 12. Rotating mesh basket. Perfect. I wonder if that's just for fries or if I can put my wings in there today. That would be great. So that's that baby over there. And then, oh, the pieces for this must be in here too. Oh, yeah. There they are. This is the parts. And I'm going to assume all of these things. And probably these. <laughs> I'll figure this out yet. For the rotisserie part. This. So that's 11. Rotating 
skewer rack. So yeah, that would be for that. And number 10. Number 10 being an accessory handle. I guess to pull trays out or whatever so you don't burn yourself, I'm going to guess. And then number 8. Well, that's a rotisserie spit. So that, oh no, that's where these go on to. There we go. That's a rotisserie spit. Perfect. Perfect. Now I just got to figure out what this tray is, if it's that built-in piece or what, because that's kind of weird to me. I just noticed now, though, when I was closing it, that... Oh, it's not doing it now. It was a little off its hinge a little bit, so I'm not sure if that's an issue or not. Seems to be good now. Anyway, I'm going to put this together and start lunch for the boys. Okay, so I did not realize this thing was like the Mac Daddy of air fryers. So I was like, am I supposed to put a sticker on here? Like, exactly how am I supposed to see what I am doing? So I'm like trying to press this to turn it on. Yes, I could read instructions, but you know, that would be just smart and simple. And so I touch this. I'm like, holy smokes, it's totally digital, totally digital touch screen. So I'm supposed to let it run for 20 minutes, which is adjusted there. Run for 20 minutes just to get the um, factory stink out of it, I guess. So I'm yeah, so I'll just let it go for 20 minutes and then I'll try to figure out the rest. I want to use the basket for my wings. You know what? These boys aren't going to eat till supper and I had other plans to make for supper. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to use the basket for wings, but I did put in, let's see if we can pause this. I did put in just these trays because I don't know how to install that basket yet. I'm desperately trying to YouTube it and and uh, get it going. Oh shoot, I'm back down to 15 minutes. Let me pause it. Uh, where's the timer? Uh, whatever. I'm gonna let it run for 15 minutes and I'll come check back on it. So this is almost turning into an air fryer review. So I've got my pre-seasoned chicken wings in and I tried to put the smaller ones on the bottom because I wasn't sure if the tray would clear and it barely does so I'm glad I moved the bigger ones to the top and it's supposed to be <laughs> you hear that snorty thing down there yeah anyway um it says 30 minutes at 400 degrees so I guess I have to preset that and then reset that and we'll see how they turn out hopefully this is an amazing little machine I didn't press the chicken button because it was only at 380 for 30 minutes but oh look at this it even has a little light which is awesome. So we're about halfway through the process. I am going to check on. And they are looking pretty darn good already. Now, I'm not sure if I should take that splash guard off and use it for the fries so I can get those done at the same time. But yeah, I think I'm going to because fries aren't going to splash, right? Or, in my case, smiley fries. Okay, so a tray full of smiley fries. And they're going to top rack it. I don't know if that's a good thing, but I'll keep an eye on them. I'm going to let them cook for a bit, sprinkle some seasoning on them, and let them cook the rest of the way. So, we're actually just going to hit the fry setting because it brings us back up to 400 for 15 more minutes. So, here we go. That is one full 
little oven. So I'm hoping this works out well and I can make a full easy meal in here at once. Try this again, my dog started barking. I did figure out the basket, but yeah, no thanks to the internet. Apparently super easy, I just couldn't figure out how to detach the parts that were factory assembled just for space, I guess, but yeah. Just put it on, lock it in, and then slide it in. But there would have been no room to use that alone today because I have the three trays because I'm feeding three people today. But yeah, super excited about that. And then I guess I'll assemble the rest of it. So I got a little distracted watching freaking Frugal, so I did not. As you can see, it is down to the last 45 seconds. Let's see. Almost. Yeah, the top is a little bit close, a little bit too close for comfort, but are they done? That is the question. I'm going to assume they're very done. A little bit more done on one side than the other, so I'm going to quickly put the seasonings on them while I can, while they're hot. And shoot. Note to self, an extra 10-ish minutes is probably enough for the top rack. But it is a learning process, people. Definitely a learning process. Another part of the learning process, these still need a few minutes while these are completely ready. So the bottom tray is not getting the same heat, but the element is way up there, so understandable. I guess the airflow isn't, but they do say rotate the trays, which I did not do. There we go. My fault. So apparently I wasn't recording, but cleanup is minimal. Awesome. That is a um, perfect thing because some of the air fryers actually only have trays like this. So I have the nonstick trays, another less than five minutes and those wings were done. And also, I picked up this new salad mix kit, Fresh Express Organic Chopped Salad Kit, Honey Pecan. So in here, there is pecans and raisins, I believe. So the, the mix is green and red cabbage, carrots, kale, and arugula. And then there's raisins, praline pecans, feta cheese, honey mustard dressing. So that sounds amazing. I'm excited for that. So perfect lunch for a Sunday afternoon. Lunch slash supper, I guess, at this point. So instead of finding a something to put through that hole, I just went and got myself a zip tie and put it in there. And it's holding great. It's, it's a good fix for my... And it's a great workstation for what I've got going on. Oh, since I'm pointing in that direction, this is part of my Valentine's Day slash I'm going to give them to the kids and grandkids for Easter stuff. This one I like just literally dropped the other cloud in the bag, but I've got these little erasers, these little poops. And I won't say emojis, there's no faces on them, but they're pencil topper erasers. And yeah, I'm going to add that to their little surplus of goodies and and I'm still working on this frame I don't have clamps so it's a little bit harder of a job and that glue does not set very fast so I also got as part of my Walmart finds I got these little pop-ups which are going to go to the girls there's actually four girls I have two granddaughters and my son's girlfriend has why is that green Animal face. My um, son's girlfriend has two girls, so they're going to get these little fun pop-up toys just for, I know they're crappy little toys, but they're decent. And all the kids are going to get, so there's four girls, two boys, possibly my 14-year-old. I can't kind of leave him out of this. He's not a kid anymore, but I know he still likes getting the treats. So anyway, found these little tops. I paid like 75 cents for a bunch of them. 
two, four, six, eight of them. So I got eight tops. I got four of these Valentine hearts that says plush toys included. Whatever else is in there, I'm not sure. They were $3.98 regular. Everything was 50% off, so around two bucks I paid. So I bought four of those for the girls. I got this. Um, so there's six little pinball sets, six sheets of stickers, which I'm not sure the boys will really want, six spiky balls, and six bubbles. So the little ones are all going to get those in their little Easter treat hunt bag, whatever you want to call it. And then the boys are, only the boys are going to get these little ninja crawlers. So I paid 50 cents for those three. Maybe I should have got another pack for the girls. No. It was hard enough to find something more boyish, so we'll just leave that for the boys. And then I got this eight pack of whistles. Kind of like little flutes, I guess. Yeah, they call them flutes. See what kind of music they can make on those. Good thing Easter is an outside activity kind of thing. Hopefully it's an amazing day because I talked to my mom today and I want my dad to come but since he had his leg amputated the last year, he's in a wheelchair. My home is not wheelchair accessible. So I'm hoping it's a beautiful day where we can wheel him around the garage to the backyard to enjoy in a barbecue with us for, for Easter and watch the kids and all that fun stuff. Because so far this winter, I am used to hostessing Christmas and Thanksgiving. I love doing it, but my dad couldn't get in my house, so... My mom did Christmas and Thanksgiving this year, and it was kind of a tight squeeze. It's I have four children. Um, I have three grandchildren, and then me and my parents. So it's a small apartment. It's a little bit much. Anyway, I got all the kids these Whack-A-Pack. They are... Why does it say surprise? Surprise what? I know they're... <laughs> they're balloons. Surprise greetings. Okay, so what you do is you punch it. I'm guessing it pops. It says poof and watch and wait and the balloon inflates. So there's three of them in each of these packs. Again, Valentine stuff and paid a buck for three fun little things for them to do. And then the boys, I got... They're the only ones that got chocolate so far, but this was really boyish, so I figured that was great. Double crisp, chocolatey smooth, crispy and crunchy candy. So chocolates, I guess. One is like football themed, and it's a fairly full little box, and one's baseball themed. So my grandson and my, my son's girlfriend's son. Who I guess will possibly be my grandson one day. We won't jump ahead that far in life, but... And then my granddaughters, I'm not sure because I only found two of these, but I might give these to them for their birthday instead of Easter, but they'd be great for Easter. So I got one little squishy ball llama. I don't know if you can really see it in the picture. That's a squishy ball llama. And this one I opened it because you can't really tell through the plastic. And this one is a squishy mermaid tail. So... It's too bad I couldn't find more of those. That would have been great for all of the girls. It's kind of sticky, though. I love squishy balls, but I can understand why they don't last long. So I got that done. I haven't got my frame done yet. I'm trying to figure out how to clamp it down or put some weight on it so I don't have to sit there and hold it for 10 minutes. Anyway, that's been my day and my finds yesterday at Walmart and... I've decided that the dumpster diving is going to have to wait until I figure I'll give it a week now just to give myself a rest and not dwell on the situation too much. I mean, it's, I'm not going to stop. I probably won't even stop when it becomes illegal. I just have to be more stealthy about it and not so out in the open or whatever. Park a ways away, bring reusable bags if I must, fill them, walk them to the truck kind of thing jump in the dumpsters more than standing outside of the dumpsters so I can 
you know, be undercover a little bit. So if somebody does drive by, I can be like silent about it. I know I already, when I'm standing above the dumpsters, I am constantly turning my flashlight on and off because it's just like a beacon of light. It's like, look at me, I'm here. <laughs> anyway, it always blows my mind that y'all just drive up to the dumpsters and have your headlights on it and you're doing your thing and making ta and making videos, which is great. I love watching them, but I couldn't get away with that here. There is absolutely no way I am just putting the spotlight on myself. And like I said, over and over and over again, it's a small city. It is a small city. It's barely a city. It's like the borderline between town and city. Yes, we've got more residential happening, but no, we don't have a lot of retail going on yet. So, small city. Anyway, that's it for my Sunday. I've been having a good day, getting caught up on things. So I hope you all have a good evening too and happy diving to all of you and I'll be back out there possibly, possibly Wednesday I think after garbage day. Tuesday is my seven day mark since the popo came around. I know they're not the popo but they are security so whatever. But um, tomorrow is our family day vacation not vacation but holiday like national holiday we get paid for it if we're not working I'm working but I figured I would just hang out with my boys until they go to their dads for their time with dad and then when they're gone I'll just get myself out there again and stop hiding out and dwelling on this today I haven't thought about it at all so that's good till now but anyway have a great night everybody happy diving um, click like and subscribe, and I will get back out there ASAP. I dream I know, deep up my feelings feel, watch them grow, perceive.